it is your boy Log coming back at you today with a brand new video. Now, I have some very important, some very important big news to discuss today. Now, I will keep it up with you. I was not keeping up 100% with the, um, well, what do you call it? The switch um, updates and things like that. Like, I would see it, like, if, it pop, if something popped up on Twitter talking about the switch, I, it was so many leaks and rumors and things like that. After a while, I kind of just drifted off from it i would keep my eye on it for a little while just to see if anything legit was popping up but you know it wasn't it was just leaks and rumors talking about the pros or the switch 2 and things like that so after a while i just kind of just you know pushed it to the side and kept it pushing but this morning we actually get a legit trailer from nintendo about the nintendo switch uh oled model now and the oled model is actually legit this is like the new uh, the, the Switch 2. This is the new model. This is the upgraded version of the original Switch that we already have. And it looks, it looks good. It looks clean. I like it. I definitely, it's, I'm definitely buying it. I'm definitely kicking out the money for it. It's off rip. It's $349, $350 off rip, but I'm definitely buying it. As soon as it's available for pre-order, I'm definitely getting it. I'm pulling up the trailer now as we speak. And... Yeah, I'm definitely getting this off rip 100% as soon as it's available for pre-order. I'm definitely getting it. But we're going to get into the trailer and we're going to talk about some of the things that they are uh, showing with the new Switch. And if any of you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. That is the best way to support me. Share this video with your friend. You know, try to help my channel grow and be a part of our family. So welcome if you're new. And like I said, if you guys are old, you know, like, comment, subscribe. To show your boy some love and show some support. Now let's get into the trailer. The OLED model. So it starts off with Metroid uh, Dread. And if you saw, watching E3 or the Nintendo Direct, they announced that there is a new Metroid game coming out. So of course what they want to do is all the new upcoming games, Pokemon, Monster Hunter, um, Metroid, they're going to want those new games to be played on a new system at the end of the day. Like, it's nothing wrong with the old Switch. It's nothing wrong with it at all. But at the end of the day, they're going to want those new games to be played on this new Switch. So they're doing this at the right time. It comes out um, October 8th. So that's right before holiday time. So that allows people to break it in. They can, you know, get their pre-orders in. They can go play it or have it and play their old games on this. And then when the new ones come out, they can just transfer over. Yeah, they're definitely going to do that. They're definitely pushing the sales of the new game. Or they're trying to just get the new games as hyped up as possible. But you have Metroid Dread. It's a little bigger too. And it's white now. It's white and black. So of course the main system itself is black. But the Joy-Cons are white or like a steel type of white. Or like a grayish type of white. I, I think it's white. I might be colorblind. I don't know. But it's, uh, like I said, it's bigger. So the original Switch. And actually I have my Switch right here. So the original Switch forgive my my knuckles i'm just coming back from the gym but the original switch is uh 6.2 inches and the new switch uh the switch oled is seven inches now um seven so it's bigger and it's going to be it's pretty much the visual effects are going to be better it's going to look a lot more crisp a lot more clear it's going to be more vibrant a lot more colors so it's going to stand out more so like any cinematic cutscenes from the game are going to pop out to you more it also has an adjustable stand now, like a legit stand, instead of like this little leg piece that the Switch had, instead of just this, because this popped off. This was one of my biggest things with it. I didn't like how this would pop off, and sometimes it would break if too much pressure was on it, or it would just pop out the side. Like, you could always put it back in, but sometimes it would pop out. Now it's an actual stand that you can actually kick out, and it can adjust back and forth, so you can get more of a, like a wider view. So say if you're like sitting on the table, people don't have to be huddled up near you to see it. They can actually like sit around you and, and things like that. You can actually just set it up at an angle, and everybody can just play. It also comes with a, um, a LAN port now, which allows you to connect straight into the Wi-Fi if you know, you, you're lagging or if you're having bad connections, it allows you to just plug right in and plug the LAN port into your Switch, which is a plus for a lot of people, I'm sure. Um, like I said, the dock is different. The dock is white now. It's pretty much just the upgraded version of the original Switch. They have some accessories that's coming out with it too. Like they had like this leg band that you can put like your Joy-Con in. It, it reminds me of like Wii Sports. I'm sure it's gonna be some type of game that you can play on the Switch that requires those. And there's a wheel 
there's a wheel with it now too maybe some racing games or some fitness game it's going to be like Wii Sports it's going to be like Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resorts when they came out for the the white Wii and the black Wii but um, like I said off rip is $349 it looks like it's definitely worth the investment it's definitely upgraded and it's 64 gigabytes now too and if we'll go to the website now so I can actually get more into detail about everything but like I said it's 64 gigabytes here we go Nintendo Switch OLED model available October 8th 2021 starting off 350 bucks 349.99 whatever you want to say meet the newest member of the Nintendo Switch family the new system features a vibrant 7-inch OLED screen, a wide adjustable stand, a dock with a wired LAN port, 64 gigabytes of internal storage and enhanced audio. So people who are starting out, if you, ha if you don't have a Switch already, just starting out, this is going to be really good because it's 64 gigabytes. The original Switch is 32. So having that extra, that, that double storage is going to be good for you because offer, you're probably going to, it could be free games on the marketplace or you could just have a bunch, you could have got paid, have a bunch of money. You just ready to just buy some stuff. So you had that extra space. Now, eventually you're going to be like us or actually I've never bought that extra storage space for my Switch. I just thugged it out. If I didn't like something, it was gone. But I really only get the games that I like. So I'm normally, I was good in that department. But eventually you, you can upgrade. You can get the one terabyte. You can get the two terabyte. You know, whatever you want to get to have that extra storage space. But 64 gigabytes for a starting system is pretty good. Like I said, it's it's like how the Wii was. I think the white Wii was, was barely even 10 gigabytes when it came out. And then when the black one came out, that was uh, 32 gigabytes. Yeah, it was 32 gigabytes. So it's, it's just like that. So they just double in the storage space, which is good, especially like, again, like I said, for first time Switch owners. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe the OLED, I believe OLED um, technology is used in um, like newer televisions, newer flat screens and things like that that are being made to give it that real crisp, clean, high def, um, like just that visual effect so i that's actually pretty good too so i know the cinematic scenes for games like uh xenoblade monster hunter breath of the wild 2 that's really going to look good with that um technology in the screen widescreen adjustable dock so again like i said if you and your friends are all playing on the table or handheld mode everybody doesn't have to be clumped up around each other y'all can just put it down have it angled to the back as far as you need to and everybody can properly see it uh seven inch oled screen Feast your eyes on the vivid colors of crisp contrast, like I just said, when you play on the go. See the difference in the vibrant screen. See the difference the vibrant screen makes, whether you're racing the top speed or squaring off against enemies. So Smash Bros, Smash Knights is going to be crazy. Smash Knights are going to be crazy. Speaking of which, I'm going to do a Kazuya video, video too, because I was just able to buy him over the weekend. And I played with him against my friends, and he's broken. He's broken. He's broken. And... For my friend who got spiked, you know who you are. I'm not sorry. Your <laughs> wide adjustable stand. So like I was saying, it's no longer this. It's no longer this little, this little leg piece. It's no longer that. It's actually a whole, it pretty much takes the whole back bottom part that comes out and it's able to stand instead of just having this because one, one wrong push or somebody pressed down on too hard, this pops right out. So I, I do like that. That is a plus for me. That is definitely a plus for me. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu, here you go. Built in wired LAN port. Connect online using the dock's LAN port when playing in TV mode. So, again, like I said, if your, your Wi Fi is lagging or if your frames are dropping, you can plug the LAN port right in and you're good to go. You plug that right into your router, you're good to go. Uh, and then again, talks about 64 gigabyte internal storage space, saves games in your system with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Again, that is a plus and enhanced audio. So I don't know if it's gonna be bass boosted or if it's just gonna be louder or better surround sound, but enjoy audio, um, enjoy enhanced audio from the system's onboard speakers. So pretty much it's just better speakers at the end of the day. And that's, that's pretty much it. Then it goes into like three modes and stuff like that. But other than that guys, tell me what you think. Oh. Oh, real quick real quick i wanted to show off so it doesn't look like this anymore it doesn't have that that squared off box look anymore it's rounded it's it's so it's like rounded corners now which is good and it's white too it's white and then i believe the logo is a little bit smaller and it looks like it's about it's like 
like a like a steel kind of like steel and white but it fade it, it fits in properly and but i like how it's like edged it's giving it like a more sleeker look and not like so much a box look i like that i like that they're switching up things on us they're switching it up this is definitely it though this is the advanced version and this is actually what i was looking for i didn't want something too over the top i didn't want something like too too extra because the switch itself isn't extra so this i actually like how this is i like how this looks i like how it was made i like the color it, thumbs up for me it thumbs up for me i like it um i can't wait to see what the games look like on it but guys tell me what you guys think tell me how you feel about it let's talk about it in the comment section um are you pleased with this don't do you not like it uh, do you hate it do you love it tell me how you guys feel what were you expecting did you want a switch 2 did you want the switch pro or did you want this again like i said let's talk about it in the comment section down below again like comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends that is the best way to support me but overall i'm excited yeah listen when pre-order comes i'll make a video about that but until then law is out